Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first full video of 2024. Happy New Year everyone. Today I wanted to do a full face of Christian Dior. I signed up for their loyalty program or their beauty program. Sometime last year I saw a TikTok on it saying that if you sign up for their beauty program you can choose to get your products in like really cute packaging which I'll talk about in a little bit. You build points to get like free freebies once you get to a certain threshold, things like that. This is a premium prestige beauty brand so these products are expensive and I don't think they're attainable for everyone and I'm not here to try to convince you to try them but if it's in your budget and you've been wanting to buy some Dior products, I would highly recommend signing up for their beauty program. That way you build points and you get free samples with every order. And then you also get your products sent to you in absolutely beautiful, stunning packaging. This is their holiday box right here. How freaking gorgeous is this? I am not throwing this out. This is what my order came in. That's my couch playing with like a jingle bell. But prior to this, my order came in like a little white bags or boxes. I think I should have a video. I'll try to link it here if I don't forget. Hold on. Hold on. Chai. This this jingle bell right here. She's like she's literally watching me. Like how dare you, woman? But anyway, back to the makeup. Here's a close up of the box right here. This is definitely something that you can store on your vanity and keep forever. Really good quality. 100% not something that I'm gonna throw out. It's just I mean it is. Stunning. So without further ado, let me show you guys what it is that I ordered. Open it up, you get your, your order receipt. Sales receipt comes in something like this. Like it's definitely like next level, top notch, wrapped, just absolutely stunning all around. And then this is what is inside. And I also got some free samples. I chose some perfumes and they came in a little pouch like this, which I think is really cute as well. I don't really love the scents of them. A few other ones I did love. I think there was like Gris Dior and Dior Riviera. Those two I really liked, but some of them are just a little bit not really up my alley. So what I ended up ordering is their Dior Forever Glow Veil. This is essentially a primer because I do already have, I actually gotta grab it. I do already have the foundation and I absolutely love it. I think it is gorgeous. It sits beautifully on dry skin in particular, especially if you have mature dry skin. So I wanted to try their Glow Veil Primer that kind of goes alongside with it to see, you know, how it would work together. And then I also decided to get the Forever Perfect Fix um, like setting spray of sorts. So these are the two products that I got. And we're going to do a full face of Dior. I do already have the foundation like I mentioned. And I also purchased their concealer in the past. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. And then their limited edition bronzer, which is bougie to the next level, but it's so cute. It has like this fabric material on top, kind of like this little cushion pillow. And I actually really like this bronzing shade. It's really nice. I got mine in shade Tan Bronze. So I do love the bronzer itself. It's just, it's definitely expensive and not necessary, but sometimes, you know, a girl just wants to treat herself. Glow Veil is very luminescent. It's hydrating, but it does have kind of like these, this little bit of shimmer to it. It's not like a glitter shimmer. It's more like a radiant shimmer. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that first. I do already have my skincare done. It does have a scent to it. I feel like 99% of prestige beauty brands have like either a floral or some type of scent to it. I'm not sure why, but they all do. It goes away after a little bit, but when you initially apply it, you definitely smell it. And I like that the primer has like a, a bit of a grip. Like it's hydrating, but it has a little bit of a grip to it as well. And my skin right now is, it's doing really bad. But I mean, it doesn't look like it because I have like this bright light and everything and it's super bright, but it's just, it's struggling. But do you see how like radiant my complexion looks just from applying that primer. You can definitely use this on its own if you don't want to wear any makeup and you want like a nice radiant finish. It's great for that. So I like it. Bougie, expensive, but I generally do like it. And then I'm going to go in with the Dior Forever Skin Glow. Let me blend that in using a brush. Actually, you know what? Let's use a sponge. Oh no, I just moved my camera. Oopsies. I'm just going to use a brush, but I'm going to use this sponge instead. This is my favorite sponge ever. It's the Tools sponge. I got it on Amazon. It's so squishy and so soft, which I feel like you'll either love that or hate that, but it feels like I'm using my fingers to blend everything out. 
but using a sponge gives you more of a sheer finish. When I want light to medium coverage, I'll go in with a sponge. When I want medium to full coverage, I'll use a brush. And lately, I've just been really reaching for Dior products. I don't know, especially in the winter time, my skin is really dry. It's dry as it is, but like the winter time especially. So Dior, I don't know what it is, but they work really well for my skin. And I'm gonna use the same sponge to go ahead and blend everything out. This isn't a makeup tutorial or anything. I'm just kind of doing a get ready with me and sharing about Dior Beauty. Concealer is all blended out and we're still looking radiant and gorgeous. And now I'm going to move on to setting powder. I actually do not have a setting powder from Dior. And I'm not about to buy one because I actually have quite a few of my own that I like. I have the e.l.f. Halo Glow, love that. I have the It Cosmetics one. And then I have this Ilia one right here as well as one from Gerard Cosmetics. So I have quite a few like different setting powders. My daughter was messing around with it. And yeah, this is what happened. So I'm going to take a small little concealer brush and take some setting powder on the brush and very gently pat that into the skin. I know that some people love to use like a sponge. I kind of go back and forth, but I'm going to use a brush. I've been just really liking that using this because I feel like this one is so precise. And then when it comes to like cheeks and stuff, this is when I'll use something like this sponge and just really carve out the entire cheek area here and then I'll bring it up to the smile lines and then same thing for the other side well that's baking I'm gonna go in with the bronzer I actually saw a reels of I think it was Selena Gomez's makeup artist was it and she said a lot of people underestimate the power of contour or bronzer right here and I'm just gonna use this big fluffy brush and get rid of the excess powder. Now let me go ahead and do my brows off camera as well as lips. What a difference some brows and lip products can make. Now we're gonna finish off with the setting powder and not setting powder, the setting spray. Honestly, I'm not sure why I bought this one because I feel like there are just so many great setting mists out there. This one does have a scent to it. I like the spray because it's very fine. I don't feel like it's spitting in my face. Yeah, it has like a floral set. It smells like the rest of the Dior products. I don't know, I just wanted to try it, so here we are. Let's go ahead and mist the face. Again, you do get that floral. That was quite a lot, but you do get that floral scent at first. It goes away and it doesn't linger. In terms of how it works, it's the most important thing. Like, you don't want to be paying for a brand name. I do think that the setting spray is nice, but... I can find a much better setting sprays out there that will make your makeup last. Like I love the Urban Decay one. I'd probably buy that one over this one, especially since this one has a bit of a scent to it. The foundation and concealer, I already did a video on it, and I absolutely love this combo. I think it's amazing. Bronzer, I love the shade, but there are much, much cheaper products out there. I just mainly got it because of the packaging, just being honest, because I thought it was so stinking adorable. So that's why i got it sometimes you buy stuff because they look cute i don't know and then the glow veil i do actually like this and the thing with makeup products is a lot of times you want to be layering products that work well together you don't want to be mixing oils with water or silicone type products with um, other foundations that just don't work well together you want everything to kind of have a similar base and work well together so that it doesn't break up on your face. This is why I specifically like using all of these together. I love the luminous finish that it gives and I also love that it has a bit of a grip so it kind of like actually works as a primer should in my opinion. It's just expensive and I'm sure there are other products out there that are a lot more affordable but the foundation concealer combo I would actually repurchase and I really really like it. So if you're looking to buy anything from Dior, highly recommend signing up for their loyalty program. Your stuff comes in at the cutest packaging ever. It might not come in this one because this was part of their holiday packaging if I'm not mistaken. I mean look at how gorgeous this is. This is definitely like a keepsake box. If you're buying anything Dior, sign up for the program it's totally worth it in my opinion and i hope you guys enjoyed kind of hanging out with me this is the first video of 2024 kind of slowly easing back into it so from me to you happy new year i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out thank you so much for watching and i really hope to see you guys in future videos Bye.